just fall off my chair. Hey guys, so I wanted to start this series um, with my last video kind of revealing everything that I've learned um, by being a teacher, English teacher in South Korea over the past almost four years. Um, yeah. <laughs> So today's video, oh sorry about the audio by the way, it's freezing so I have the heater on, but today's video is about the differences between elementary, middle, and high school lesson planning. Okay, so first we have the high school textbooks. Now in high school, the students really just memorize the questions that will be on the student English test. Um, if, you don't, if you've never heard of Sunan, it's the college entrance exam that the students have to take when they are in their third year of high school in Korea. To put it in simple words, this textbook is the question bank for the actual Sunan test. Um, I can't remember exactly how many questions are on the test, but say there's like 50 questions on the test, 45 of the questions that will be on the actual test are going to come from this book. Um, and then the other five are going to be ones that are not in this book, but are in the same style of questioning as the others that are here. So. That's why these books are so important to the students and why you'll see them just like studying all the time. Okay, sorry about that guys. I was speaking way too slowly before. We're gonna try this again. Now, for the English um, elementary and middle school textbooks, there are different publishing houses that will always publish books that are slightly different in the order of the way that they teach the grammar and in the devices that they use to do so. But the actual content is following the nationally regulated um, English curriculum. So you don't really have to worry too much about what books I have versus what books you will have. Now, there are going to be two different versions of the textbook in elementary and middle school. There's going to be the student version and the teacher's guide. It's going to be really easy to get the student version because there are so many copies of them. But... There are usually only about one or two teacher's guides at every school because they are limited to the actual Korean teachers at the school. So getting a copy of the teacher's guide from your co-teacher is really important, but it can also be really difficult. Um, what is in the teacher's guide and why is it so important? It gives you actual lesson plans. Not only does it give you lesson plans based off of the textbook, it gives you scripts. It will tell you T for teacher, S for student. T, when you open the class, you should say, good morning everyone, how do you spell your name? Do you remember what we learned yesterday? It will tell you verbatim what kind of language you should be using in class and that is very useful information because it's your first time teaching with this group of students you don't know what they know um so that being said try your best to get the teacher's guide from your co-teachers if possible um even if it's just like they won't let you take it home with you, which is perfectly fine. You don't want to work from home anyway. Um, just like try to get a peek at the teacher's guide while you have some time to lesson plan. Now, moving on to the middle school textbook. Um, the middle school textbook that I use with my students, it actually has four different, five different versions, four versions for the teachers. Um, so there's a the student version and then the four different versions that are specifically for the teachers. So the first copy that is for teachers specifically is literally the same exact textbook but with annotations for the, for the teacher. So it will tell you the script, it will tell you um, how to explain certain words, it will even tell you 
what to say at certain points to get the students to um, kind of use the language a little bit. Um, it can be very helpful, but it can also not be so helpful because some of the things are only in Korean. Um, but there is a lot of annotation that is both in Korean and in English. The second version is what I'm going to call a workbook. And essentially, it is a culmination of worksheets that have questions in them that give the students more practice. Now, this can be useful to you if you will, if you will be teaching based off of the book. The third type of book that you may have as a teacher is the testing book. Um, I'm kind of trying to translate these in my head, but essentially it's a book full of tests. Now, this book is made with tests in mind to um, kind of assess the students' learning as you go through each lesson and you should ask them if they do use it because if they don't then you could totally use those in your class um, so that's three of them and then the very last one is again the teacher's guide and it's very similar to the one for elementary school students where it tells you what to say during class and what to do um, so that's it so yeah that's really all you need to know when it comes to the textbooks and I feel like if I had known the types of textbooks that exist when I was coming in I would have been a lot more prepared for my classes. When I first came in I asked for textbooks because people told me to ask for textbooks and I was given the student versions of textbooks or I wasn't given anything at all and told to do what I wanted um, and bless my co-teachers hearts I kind of understand what they meant by that but also I don't think they fully understood that I was new to the game and didn't know what the F to do so when you go to your co-teacher for the first time and ask for the textbook specifically ask if they have a teacher's guide if they have a yonggu yong, which is the annotated version, yonggu yong, ask if they have the worksheet booklet, the jasup so, jasup so. Ask if they have the testing booklet, pyongka munje jip, pyongka munje jip. And if you want, you could also ask them for the student. Um, textbook but I don't think that that's going to be of very much help to you um, except for the word list and scripts that may be in the back of the books. So yeah I hope this video was helpful I'll be making more like it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!